This is a video tutorial by JimmyR.com, and I'll be teaching you how to hack PlayStation 2 save states from the PCSX2 emulator. Uh, I originally did a video tutorial on EPSXE, the PlayStation 1 emulator, and I got a lot of requests for PlayStation 2. So the problem is, I tried it and I got addicted to Final Fantasy X <laughs> when, I, when I finally got the ROM. So I've been uh, playing it, but I noticed it doesn't have any Game Shark editor that I can use like in my PlayStation 1 emulator that has Peck Edit. So I figured out a way around it. I can hack the save states uh, to modify the game data so I can get infinite money or something like that. And I'll be showing you how to do that. Whenever you go into your PlayStation emulator, PlayStation 2 emulator, if you click F1, it saves the game. You don't have to use your memory card. And it saves it in this folder, in a save state. Then I click F3 to load the game again. So it's very convenient that it has these little save states it's in the save states folder. And I'm going to try to hack these. I'll go ahead and show you step by step. So I'm playing in my game. And uh, here we have it. I load up my game. I had already saved it and I had accumulated 74,025 gold. I, I got a lot of gold and uh, that's very useful because the larger amount of, I have of any item or something, uh, the easier it's going to be to hack it. If it's over 66,000 or 65,500, uh, it takes up three, three bytes, I think. So I will be able to modify the file, the value a lot easier because I will be able to find it. So I have 74,025 gold. If it sounded confusing, don't worry. Um, 74,000. 25. I want to make that the max amount I can get. I'm going to go to start run. I'm going to open my little run dialog. I'm going to go to calculator. And I'm going to enter the value. But first I'm going to set it to scientific mode. And I'm going to put 74025. I'm going to change it to hex. Here we have 12129. That's our value in hexadecimal. Now, if you've been around hexadecimal long enough, you'll know that if it's an odd number of digits, you should add a zero to the beginning. So think of this number as 012129. And uh, I had tried to modify the value inside the save state over and over again, but it didn't work. I didn't understand why. And I figured out they used compression. I downloaded the source code, and thank goodness I didn't have to actually check the actual C files. Uh, I found out they use a a common library. I think it's the same one 7Z, uh, 7ZZip uses. It's called the Zlib library. It's a compression library uh, in Linux. So it actually compresses the save states. That's why every time I try to modify the value, it wouldn't work because the actual file uh, uncompresses itself, loads into data, and deletes the compression file. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So as crazy it, so it sounds, I have to add the .gz extension to this. And I'm going to extract it with 7zzip. And as you can see, it made the file a lot bigger.